what's up guys welcome back to another video so basically what we're going to be doing in this video i'm going to be adding a diffuser down here at the bottom take this stock one off this one really looks kind of basic so i'm going to uh, be upgrading today so stay tuned So I'm going to be showing you guys how to put this diffuser on. As you can see, it's still in the package. So I got the diffuser from Next Gen Speed. Make sure you guys go over to their website. and, and They have diffusers. They have basically any accessory for the chargers, Camaros, Challengers, Jeeps, all of that. I got to rip this off because it's hard to take off. So, all right, so this is what it looks like. I think it should come like this from factory. It just looks so much more mean and aggressive. Um, so I'm gonna just show you guys some of the tools that you need in the next part. So see you soon. So I'm going to be showing you guys a couple tools that you'll need today. It's super easy. First, you can just grab a, a flathead. Try to get a smaller one because the groove on it, on the um, diffuser that's on there, is kind of is kind of small. So you're going to need that. And also, I would recommend one of these the socket just to take it off a little bit faster. So see you in the next part. So as you guys seen, I just basically took off the two plastic trim pieces. You got one on each side. Once you take those out, you have four 13 millimeter screws you'll have to take out as well. They're kind of right here in the middle. So once you take those out, you basically can come around on either side, pull the plastic. It's going to sound like something is breaking, but it's not. It's basically, this, is, this plastic is basically just interlocked with the bumper so it's going to make a popping sound all right so that's basically what it'll sound like and that's going to sound like that all the way around until you get on the other side boom and that's how you take it off All right, guys, so now that we took off the old diffuser, basically what you're going to do is you're going to use the same, um, you know, pieces that they had on the old diffuser and put it on a new one. When you get your diffuser, everything is already pre-drilled, just like the stock diffuser was. All right. And then once you do that, you can line everything back up. Everything straight. What I usually recommend doing is putting the two in the middle on first, just so it has something to hold it while you get the other sides in as well. Got 
got to apply a little force to it. Make sure everything is all the way in. All right, so once you have it all in, basically you wanna just go over, make sure you got all your rivets and you should hear like a popping sound. That's how you know it's all the way in. Some of them just go, goes in a little smoother. All right, so I got all of them in. Then like I said previously, you wanna use your old hardware to put in the new diffuser. Alright, so basically, all you're gonna do, you're gonna slide this right in that hole, which should line up perfect. Once you do that, push it right up and that locks it into place. And then basically, you do the same thing on the opposite side. Then, you, like I said, you have four screws right here in the middle. You just screw those in and got your new diffuser. Alright, guys, so. Just basically gonna get under here and put these screws in. It's a 13 millimeter screw, so. Get that, you got your new diffuser. All right guys, so if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit a like, comment, subscribe, and also hit the bell for post notifications. Comment down below the next thing you guys want to see today. Like you've seen, we did the Dynomax race bullets. And also, we put on the brand new diffuser. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I think it turned out perfect. So, so if you guys have any other suggestions, let me know. Um, follow me on Instagram at Red Eye Fortune, And also, share this video with your friends. See you guys in the next one. Peace.